Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. Thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, it's been a little chilly again today, but, but it's okay. We got the heat pumping in here today. Uh, thanks for joining me. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make lovely and quirky hand embroidery patterns and kits. And I'm here every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. And it's when we relax, we craft, we work on a project together. I'm here for about an hour every evening. So you have uh, uh, time to grab a project and uh, stitch with me or sew with me. Uh, right now we are working on the Charming Chevrons Quilt by Krista Watson of Krista Quilts. And I think we may get done trimming our little squares today. I think we might just get there. Uh, here is the stack, it's awfully small. Uh, we're going to trim them so we get a bunch of half square triangles. We'll get two half square triangles out of each each of these sewn pieces. And we've been working on these trimming, uh, trimming these half square triangles for ages now. So uh, I think we may get done trimming today. And then I think we'll just call it a night when we get those done. And I'll clean up my work surface and we will sew tomorrow. I'm so stoked to be sewing again and then uh, then we'll get to lay out the whole quilt and uh, that's really what i've been uh, shooting for here so all right i am going to flip you guys around oh ashley you were just in minnesota for your cousin's wedding oh man it was probably just so cold uh hopefully it was indoors <laughs> hello athena thanks for joining uh Oh, there too, Robin. All right, I am going to uh, flip you around. Oh, Facebook isn't letting uh, you give me a love heart. Well, I feel it right here, Deborah. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. I'm going to flip you around. Oh, it was cold, but Alaska's just as cold. Yep. <laughs> I suppose that's probably the case, huh? All right, we have barely any left here, although you know these stacks of fabric are always a little, uh, they're always a little manipulating. They always kind of last forever when it looks like there shouldn't be that many, many left, but we're gonna, we're gonna see tonight. Uh, and then I got my whole little, all my little trimmings from the last few days. That's what I need to uh, keep, uh, get cleaned up before we start sewing. I have, Kathy, I have not put a kit up for the, 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 um, the zipper case yet, the sketchbook cover that has a zipper pocket in the back. I, I did order some supplies for the kit, so I will have a limited amount of kits for that project. Um, otherwise, I might, if, if we run out, then I, I might order some more if... Um, if you guys weren't able to grab a kit. So that will come up um, once I have all the supplies in. So I just ordered it today. So it might be might be a week or two yet. I will for sure send out an email. I'll probably send out a couple emails about it and I'll, I'll let you guys know here too, for sure. You guys kind of usually, you guys learn about everything first <laughs> on, on these Facebook Lives, but I will put more info in an email once I get the supplies in. Uh, I think it's gonna be fun though. We're gonna use, uh, well, you can put whatever you want on the cover, but I'm gonna be using one of, I'm gonna be stitching one of my new, my new kits. So I'll have that available too. Oh, you added a new quilt book to your library today, awesome. Oh, Grace, so we are talking about a project that we are, I think we're gonna do next, and it's gonna be kind of uh, in the middle of this project. So we'll take a little break from this project. It is the sketchbook cover from my book, my sew and stitch embroidery book. And it, it, it's a sketchbook cover, so like a book cover, a fabric book cover that has some fun stuff stitched on the front. And then on the back, it has a zipper. So you can put in, it's like a little pocket, a lined pocket. So you can put your pens and pencils and stuff in there right with your, your sketchbook uh, right in the cover. So that's gonna be our next little quick sewing project. 
it's really quick and fun and we learn a little bit about working with zippers and it's just really really just fun and and uh yeah i think it'll be just speedy a nice little short break in between doing a long project like a quilt so uh, i will have i'll i'll show you guys tomorrow i i have the uh, the one that is in the book, the actual sample, I have that here and I will, I'll bring it out to show you guys tomorrow. And then what we will be, what I'm going to at least, uh, it'll be part of the kit, but what I'll be stitching on mine and the colors will be a little different and I will, that'll be a little bit of a surprise. I'll show you guys before before you know the kit's available obviously so you know what's in it um but i'm pretty excited about it i think i think i might stitch it up this weekend potentially if uh if i end up having some time um stitch it up and then i can show you show you what it's gonna be like i'm pretty excited are you looking forward to it awesome kathy yeah it's gonna be nice and easy uh, it, it's easy adapt easily adapted if you want to uh, make it into different sizes you know if you didn't want to do it for a sketchbook if you wanted to do it for a notebook or something else uh, it doesn't tell how to do that in the book so we'll talk about that um, a little here once we get that far but yeah it's super fun and it's really fun to have that zipper zipper pocket Oh, gosh, yeah, Irene, it would make a, a totally great uh, quilting journal for sure. Or just, just keep it with all your quilting stuff, and you can put a pencil in the pocket, and if you need to sketch out an idea really quick. But yeah, so I'm going to uh, put together a kit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stitch one of my new kits on the front. And so I'll, I'll have that available and uh, that's a surprise I'll show you I'll show you that once I have it stitched <laughs> it's gonna be one of our new embroidery kits and then uh, I'll have a kit for the actual project available as well where uh, if you want to do it like how how my sample will be that I'm gonna make um, with with my embroidery uh, that will have like a sketchbook so you can um, in case you don't have a sketchbook that you or you don't want to find like the right size uh, project or something um, and it, it'll have a zipper and fabric and all the little bits you might need that you wouldn't usually or you might not usually have just sitting around um yeah I think you could put a little hexy project in it you probably couldn't put a ton in but you could put a, a few hexes to go in in the back for sure. Ooh, you're gonna use yours for doodling quilt designs. That sounds awesome, Robin. It sounds like just just a great purpose for it. Yeah, so I'll put together like a limited number of kits, and I'll, I'll for sure let you know what you need for it too. If you don't want to buy a kit, if you want to get all the stuff yourself, uh, so I will be sending an email out about this. Um, Kind of coming up here um, within the next couple weeks with like a materials list and info about the kit. But yeah, I'll show you the project tomorrow. I will. Uh, I'll bring bring the actual sample that we photographed for the book. I'll bring that out here. You can look at it. See if it's something you're interested in stitching up. I think they'd make like really good teacher gifts and stuff too, because I think you could just probably crank out a ton of them all at once, like for Christmas presents or something. Just like assembly line make them. I think that'd be pretty easy to do with it. I'm hoping we can get through this stack. It looks so small, the stack, but you just never know.
And then we'll sew all of these half square triangles together tomorrow. Uh, so into these half chevrons. So we have both of our half square triangles. If we rotate them just right, we get that, that chevron. So we'll sew right along this seam here. That's what I'm making my stack for. And then in theory, I will have the same amount of chevrons that go this way as go this way, the, uh, the half chevrons. And I think we might actually have a few extra. So we'll just have to see. I'll lay them all out and we might have a few danglers hanging around and, and maybe those can go on the back of the quilt or make a little pillow out of them or what. Or maybe we won't have any extra. I wasn't paying um, so much attention. I was just kind of keeping on making them. Um, I should have enough, but I, I may or may not have a, a couple extra here or there. I just kind of went for the amount of fabric I had for the backing or for the this red color. This one uh, that looks like the like colorful diamonds. Yeah, I really love this one too. All right, pressing the seams open. Uh, that's gonna make our block just flatter, less layers uh, out of the block uh, once we machine sew this together. That's gonna be helpful. Are oh, you looking forward to the sketchbook project? Uh, will the new embroidery be available to get over email? Um, I'm not quite sure. Oh, you mean like if you just tell me in an email and then, I don't know, sometimes I, I'll, I'll have it on, on my website for sure. Um, so I don't, I don't know if that's what you mean, Glennis. It'll, I'll have the, the, uh, kit. It'll be up just for a limited time, um, on my website and the new embroidery kit will be there as well. So I'll, I'll probably have those in the same area so you can decide what you want. And then I'll have the book there as well. Uh, so I, I will get that all set up. Because I know some of you have the book ready for the instructions and um, some of you might want it and stuff. Oh, will it be as a PDF? Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll make it available as a PDF um, just for this project. Because, yeah, I know some of you guys are out of, um, not in the U.S. And, and then shipping, especially now, they just upped the the shipping um, here again. Uh, yeah, I see what you're saying. That might be a, a little problem. Um, I will see. Um, oh, no problem, Glennis. I, I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind for sure. I might just have it up during, during this, uh, this project and then might only have it as a kit after that so um, but yeah thanks for thanks for thinking of that um, I definitely want to make it so uh, you guys can can work on it too if you're not in the country um, the book um, I don't know if I'll be able to get that as a PDF uh, where the instructions are um, I'll try and, uh, yeah, man, I don't know. I'll try and contact the publisher. But that publisher has kind of switched a bunch of times uh, since since the book. So I don't know if I'm going to get anything from them. So I don't know if I'll be able to do a PDF of the actual uh, pattern from the book. But I will definitely uh, try and get the embroidery kit as a as a PDF uh, for the project. If you wanted to do uh, my new embroidery for it. So I will, uh, I'll, I'll uh, show you that too once I get it all stitched up. And really you can do whatever you want on the front of the book cover. I mean, you could leave it blank or you could just, you could piece it even too. It, it would, it, you could just do like a whole 
um, you know, like a log cabin book cover or something. Uh, quilt block. I'll show you some options. Uh, I have done a pieced version without the zipper, but you can, can kind of get an idea of different ways that you can um, play with play with the pattern a little bit. Oh, awesome, Glenn, so you have the book. So, yeah, so it will be, it's the sketchbook cover. I think it's towards the end with the kitty on it. But, yeah, I'll, I'm going to stitch it with my new, one of my new embroidery, uh, embroidery patterns, and I'll share what that is soon. I'm hoping I can make one up this weekend. I don't know, it might not be till next week, though. So we'll just keep working on this project here, and once I have the kits all ready to go, and I've sent the email out to you guys for the sketchbook cover project and all that. Once once we got that all down and all you guys, uh, you know, if you purchase a kit, once you have all that, I'll, I'll, you know, definitely leave enough time for shipping and all that. But once, uh, once I know you guys all have them, then we'll, we'll start the project no matter where we are with, with this quilt. We might even be, um, maybe we'll be Quilting this already? Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, but I'll I'll be able to. We'll we'll stop this wherever we're at, and then work on the quick sketchbook cover project. And as we get closer, I will definitely have a date for you. I know it's been super. I've been super weird and vague about it. Um, but it's all kind of depending on when I can get these items in for the kit and when I can stitch up a sample I'm I'm still like on the end of getting all all the product and everything to to Joann's and uh, that's been like the only thing on my brain so uh, that will get done early next week and then I'll be able to um, make up a sample to show you guys with the with the new kit Oh, and uh, I am going to, this will be kind of a fun thing. Uh, remember that craft text book? Craft text book that was, uh, I gave away a couple of them um, as prizes for when I was selling all my, all, selling off all the rest of my penguin and fish fabric a few weeks ago, or at the beginning of the year. Uh, I'm going to be doing a project from that book, one of my projects from that book, uh, for Sulky during one of Sulky's webinars. So in April, uh, you guys can come over and uh, we'll, I'll be going through how to make that project uh, with all the people at, at Sulky and using some of their products for that and, and the craft text paper. So I will for sure have more info on that too as that uh, gets gets closer. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of pretty excited for that too. That's another fun zipper project uh, with a zipper and then using that fun special craft text paper. And the craft text paper is, that's like Levi's jean labels. You know, it's kind of like leather, but not really. It's that paper leather. Um, so that will be on the Selkie website, and uh, again, I'll, I'll have an email and I'll have links and everything uh, for this once once it gets closer. That's going to be in in kind of um, April, so I think April tenth is when that's going to be, which that'll come up quick. But I will have some info on that and and how to get in and and all that for you guys as well. But yeah, that'll be kind of fun working with the the Selkie team. Uh, to do a webinar with with them, but yeah, I'm I'm pretty stoked about that. So that project and the uh, the um, sketchbook cover project, those will be two of the next things uh, we'll be working on. Next things on my agenda <laughs> coming up here, but I'm excited. They're they're similar, but but different. The the projects. Oh, and you know what? For the Sulky webinar, 
I will be sharing a, a different one of my new embroidery kits. So <laughs> in a short period of time, uh, I'll be able to show you two new embroidery kits that, that we're going to have here at, at Penguin and Fish. So I'm, I'm really excited to start, start sharing, sharing some of that. And I'll be doing different ones for, for each of those projects. Different one, different pattern for the sketchbook cover versus the, the uh, sulky craft text project. So lots of fun stuff coming up. And then, of course, we will be starting to um, machine quilt, free motion quilt, uh, this, uh, this chevron quilt. And I kind of can't wait for that. I ordered some batting today. So we'll see how that goes. It's, I ordered 100% cotton batting. Um, I was reading through Krista's book and it, she said any kind of natural fiber stuff, natural fiber batting will work great for free motion quilting and specifically cotton, she said it works really well, especially for your first time free motion quilting. So I got some 100% cotton, uh, cotton batting. I got it a queen size so I could trim it down. So it'll be a little bit bigger. Um, can use craft text for the notebook cover. Uh, I think you could, Lucy. I think you might have to adapt it a little bit. Um, actually, for I'm doing like this little this little bag for the sulky thing. I think if you did that first, and then tried to do uh, the craft text as the book cover, I think that'd be kind of, a, they're, they're similar and the way we do this, this bag might be an easier way to tackle the sketchbook cover. Um, you could though. Uh, the trick is, you know, at some point you have to turn it inside out and, and the paper, the craft text paper might not be as easy as fabric to do that with, but I think it's, it's definitely possible for sure. Okay, so craft text, it's a paper, but you can use it kind of like fabric. So you can you can even you can embroider on it, you can machine embroider on it, you can sew with it, you can paint on it. It's kind of awesome. It's one of these papers, like one of these cool things where oh yeah, you can embroider on it. I'm I'm going to embroider on on mine Lucy and and you can machine embroider on it too. So it's it's super flexible. Um you can cut it and you can leave the edge raw because it's 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 not going to fray. It's not going to it doesn't tear very easily. So it is it's kind of a cool, interesting product. Um, I think C and T Publishing produces it, and it's starting to pop up in stores a little bit more. Like if you think of uh, a jean label, you know, on the like the back pocket. Sometimes there's, this, there's that square label with some printing on it, and it's kind of like paper. It's kind of like leather. It's kind of like fabric, but not quite any of those things. That's what it's like. So it's this nifty little deal. Um, if you just do a search, Jenna, for craft text, um, it's a K. I believe it's K R A F T. EX. I think it might all be one word like that. Man, I can't, um, I can't remember offhand. Man, now I'm just, now I'm thinking that maybe the K is wrong too, but I think it's with a K. Oh, they have it at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, so they're, they're, it's popping up more and in more and more places. A lot of times it'll be on a little roll or it will be in a little pack. And for the, the project that I'm going to be doing, with sulky, oh, craft text, there you go, Lucy, that's what it looks like. Um, Lucy just typed it in there. Uh, that looks that looks right. Uh, but for the, the project that I'm gonna be doing for the sulky webinar, they're gonna have a kit available too, where you can um, get some of the products that we use, including a pack of the craft text. But now they're having some designer colors, so 
now it, there it comes in like purple and greens and blues and stuff too. It used to just be, it came out a couple of years ago and it used to just be like that craft paper brown and white and black, which is kind of, they all, it's all kind of cool because it kind of has, you can make it look like it has this leather texture. So all of those colors worked really great. But now they have different colors. They've added like stone, like a pretty gray. And now they're adding uh, a bunch of bright, fun colors as, as well. And you can actually dye it and paint it however you want. Oh, you would do raw edges for the notebook cover. Yeah, Lucy, that, that would totally work. I think it would actually be kind of a fabulous book cover material. Uh, like if you're covering books for school or something, um, I think it would last a whole lot longer than paper bags. Do people do that still? Wrap their hard hardcover books in paper bags? We always used to do that. Uh, there, well, for the, for both the sketchbook cover and this craft text bag that I'll be doing, they both have fabric lining. So for the craft text bag, there will be, you need a teeny bit of fabric for it, for the lining. And uh, if you're going to use craft text for the sketchbook cover, I would, I would do a little bit, um, for the lining of the little bag part, at least. Book socks. I've never heard of those before, Robin. Is that like a new way of doing it? <laughs> Book socks, I've never heard of that. But yeah, so the inside of the book cover, you could probably still uh, still use the craft text, but yeah, for the little inside the zipper, you there's a little lining in there and you might want you might want fabric for that. Oh, you could totally paint on it. That's kind of the magic of this product. You can use it for everything. You could completely totally paint on it. Uh, and it's just crazy that you can machine embroider on it and, and stitch it and everything too. You can glue, use glue on it. But yeah, so we'll, I, I'm guessing in the webinar, we'll kind of go over the little bits of, you know, what craft text is all about and stuff too during the webinar. And then we'll make that, make the little project from the craft text book. Except for I'm going to be doing, there's an embroidered, uh, there's a little, a little bull with a heart embroidered on it in the book because it looks like leather. So you're kind of saving, saving uh, a cow basically. That's why I stitched a little bull. But I'm going to be doing a different, a different embroidery, one of my new embroideries for the webinar on it. Oh, it's like a piece of spandex that that stretches around the books. Oh my gosh, Robin, I've never ever heard of that. Those stretchy things to book cover books. Oh man. See, I've been out of school too long. I don't know all these fancy new uh, fandangled uh, things that the kiddos have. Spandex book covers. Does that really protect the book? Oh, that seems so funny. <laughs> I'm gonna have to Google those now. Stretchy book covers. I suppose it's nice because it could probably stretch over whatever size book. Man, we had to make, we had to get paper bags from the grocery store and save paper bags and make all those. But you got to draw on them and stuff. Man, I don't know. I think you're missing out. Um, kids are missing out by not, not having the paper bags on their book covers. <laughs> But man, yeah, the craft text, craft text would be really great as a book cover, I think. Be super durable. If you wash the craft text, you can actually run it in the machine. Or, but if you get it wet and crumple it, it'll give you even more of a leather looking texture. And I think that's what I'm going to do for the, the webinar, too. Oh, that's, that's what I'm experimenting with, uh, with next week. Oh, you thought they were a pain? You thought those stretchy things were book covers were a pain? Or 
or the uh, the paper bag book covers. I always really liked like that, but I always like drawing all over them <laughs> and stuff, doodling on them and. I like making the book covers too. <laughs> Best part of the book, right? So you gotta make a book cover for it. Draw all over it. Oh man, I still have I still have a stack left over here. I'm telling you, it's a never ending a never ending stack. Oh the, so you didn't like the you didn't like the socks. Let's see, now I'm, I'm actually counting them. Ah, we just have four, okay. We're getting there, getting there, getting there. <laughs> and then I'll have to put all, all these little, all these little scrippy scraps in my, my jar where I've been saving them all. Oh, I didn't clean off my rotary cutter. I should have done that, but oh well, we'll just try and finish it up. Oh, you saw the bowl on a little bag. Oh, Mastrop had it. Oh, three rolls. Oh, yes, yes, that's right. Uh, Mastrop was selling some craft text for a little bit. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's probably available other places as well. But yeah, that, that little bowl on the little bag. So that, that little bag, the little clutch is what we'll be making. And it has a little fabric lining in. And what's nice about it is the edges are all raw. You don't have to, usually when you make a bag, you have to flip it inside out. And uh, I didn't want to do that with this paper, the, the craft text, because I thought it'd maybe be a little difficult. So uh, we got the lining in there without having to uh, turn those raw edges around. You squared it up about 2,000 Hesker triangles to use in your cousin's wedding quilt. Oh my goodness, Amy. <laughs> so many, so many half square triangles. It would be like a good, like a big old half square triangle project would be a good thing just to have, have around. Like, you know, for a project of, oh, I kind of want to feel, I kind of feel like I want to sew a little bit today. Uh, oh, my half square triangles are sitting on the sewing machine ready to go. Uh, that would be fun, like with, with no agenda, but man, a wedding, that's got a time limit on it. You got to crank that thing out. <laughs> that is, that is quite the project. I hope she appreciates everything that went into it. Man, somewhere along that line, you probably have to count from one to two thousand. And I'm not—I'm pretty sure I've never counted that high before. <laughs> two thousand—they must have been itty bitty. Oh, one thing that I ordered today, I ordered a bunch of my quilty stuff today. One thing that I ordered that we talked about was that glove that has like some steel, like it's got like steel thread or something woven into it, but it's for the rotary cutter so you don't accidentally cut your hand off. So I got, I got one of those. I didn't get the the one directly related to quilting. It's It looks like they have them related to cooking and working outside. So I got some of those uh, that have grippers on the hand too. So I will, uh, I'll show you guys those when they, they come in. I'm kind of excited to give them a try so I don't ex accidentally cut myself. I have, I have someone that comes here and cuts fabric a lot and, and I, you know, makes me feel better if their hands protected. These rotary cutters freak me out. They're so sharp. Ooh, two and a half inch squares. Uh, oh, that's like half this size. So, oh my gosh, that's so many. That would be like this big. This big half square triangles. Ooh. Do I still have sore wrists? Um, oh man, they were sore the other day, but I'm kind of done with the repetitive stuff that I was using them for, so uh, they're feeling better. My my skin is still super weird though, like really dry. 
but it's been just so dry and crazy here. Um, it was like seven degrees again. Oh God, it's, I can't even say that. It just makes me crazy. I'm ready for some real spring. A lot of you East Coasters had some crazy summer-like weather. That's pretty nice. I could use some of that. Like throw in a, a 70 degree day <laughs> randomly. <laughs> That'd be pretty nice. Oh gosh, that would be nice. Ah, 79 in Atlanta there. Yeah, I wouldn't mind an 80, 80 thrown in there. Uh, but you know what's the worst? The worst is when you have a super nice day like that and then it gets really cold again. So I don't know. Is it better just to wait till it gets that warm or is it better to have one of those days and then have it go away for another two months? I don't know. But oh, it would be enjoyable. Oh, you got a block a, a block lock ruler for that project. That's good. Hopefully that helped things along. Oh, you went to a wedding shower in New Jersey and it was 70 degrees. Nice. Sounds so lovely. Oh man, your Meyer lemon tree is outside. Oh, I have a, a friend there in California, in kind of southernish California, and they have a huge lemon tree. And it's full of lemons already for the year. And we were talking to uh, my husband's parents on the phone, and, and they're in California, and they have like, they have tomatoes on their tomato plant already outside. Like, holy cow. <laughs> we won't have that for like a good four months left. Or uh, yet. Oh, it'd be so nice. All right, we have two more after this one. Man, still for that tiny little pile, it still took quite some time. We're still gonna go almost the normal amount of time that we usually do here. I thought we were gonna whip through all these, but nope, it's that never ending pile. I'm excited to start sewing tomorrow again. That'll be fun. I have not contacted the sewing machine guy about the cracked belt on my sewing machine though yet. Whew, that's gonna have to go on my agenda here soon. I don't even know if he has email. I suppose I could call. Tighten this guy again. I just have this one little pile left to sew and then the I have the half chevrons sewn together but not not the blocks. So I'm going to just lay out all the half chevrons on the ground and then kind of rearrange and then I will um then I'll lay it all out. Oh, I ordered a pile more rotary cutter blades um today too. So I'll be I'll be stocked up on on blades again for a little while. Well, that's always good to know have it, that I have those on hand. Yeah, so here are here are my two stacks. Uh, I got my left um, my left ones all done. I guess they're not really left. It's wherever you put them. But I got the ones this this angle one that stack's done. This is the stack that we're working on. So we're gonna sew these guys together tomorrow to make a bunch of those stacks. So I think we'll sew these tomorrow and then I think we'll probably have to press them on Friday and then Monday. So Monday is going to be the day I think where we'll lay all of these out on the ground and and start arranging them. Uh, so I'm stoked for that. So if you're if you're waiting for that and or want to give me advice on where to put things in the quilt, I, I think it'll be Monday. Monday is going to be the day. Oh, 
Oh man, I have a crazy busy Monday though, but I think it'll be okay. Let me think. Yeah, I think we'll be done by, by then. So, all right. Uh, yes, so probably Monday. Monday will still be when I lay it all out on the ground. Since that's the only place it's all going to fit. It might be, that might be a stretch as well, actually. I have a little itty bitty home without tons of quilting space. But we'll make it happen. All right, one more after this one. Yeah, that's I'm super excited for when we do that, Gretchen. Super excited to see the quilt come together. When is the next Friday for unfinished project work? So it will be uh, the next uh, first Friday of the month. So I believe that is Friday of next week, isn't it? So, oh my God, is that for real? That it's March already next week? Am I right on that? I think I am. The second, I believe it's the second, right? Is that the first, first Friday of March? I could be wrong, but I think it's the second. So it'll be the first Friday in, in March. And, and uh, without a calendar in front of me, I think it's the second of March. So that will be our next finish it. For, it's not, okay, am I totally wrong on that? Okay, then it's not the second. <laughs> I'll have to look at, at the calendar. Actually here, I got my phone calendar by me. Let me just double check that. Bloop, 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 bloop. Um, oh yeah, it is the second. So March 2nd is the the uh, next next Friday. This, uh, the next Finish It Friday. So, uh, and what that means is, uh, this is a new thing we're kind of doing. Every first Friday of the month, we will take a break from whatever project we're working on and uh, pull out one of the projects that we have laying around that, that we're not done with. So, and I invite you guys to, to do that by you too. Uh, I'm guessing my project will be the hedgehog quilt, the hedgehog wall hanging that I, that I worked on last Finish It Friday. I think I'll start to tackle the binding for that. So we'll cut the binding, uh, we'll cut all the fabric for the binding, and then I will sew the binding strips together and we'll we'll press and prep the binding. And I have a feeling that might be all we can finish within an hour, but that is another, that'll be another step out of the way. Yeah, exactly, Bonnie. We'll, we'll get to do the binding one step at a time, but it's, it's getting it, it's getting done for sure. Man, it feels like we just worked on it. Man, just one, one day a month, even one hour a month. And I, and the project's coming along, I feel like. It's just kind of crazy. Those teeny little bits of time just in some sort of consistent way moves projects along. So yeah, so we'll take a break from whatever we're doing on Friday the 2nd, next Friday, which is crazy town. It's already March. And uh, It'll be a work on whatever you want. Stop all your big projects, stop all your scheduled projects and pull out something that you don't have done and work on that for an hour. That's what that's gonna, that time's gonna be. You can do that once a month, I think. Pull out a non have to get done project. This is our last block, our last half square triangle pair. So we will trim this up and I think I will put all my little nubbin extras into the fun jar because I just can't, can't throw all the cute little cutaways away yet. 
So it's going to stay in that little jar probably till we're done with this project. Till I get sick of seeing it. Till it becomes clutter. Right now I, I can't, can't bear to throw them all away yet. But that will, it'll definitely fill up the, the jar with the rest of these little nubbins that we're cutting off. I'll show you that once we're done trimming this guy. There we go. Little itty bitty edge on this one. All right, one. Oh man, they're too small. I, oh, you know what, Debbie, we could do that. You're right, I forgot about that. So we did, remember those blocks that we made for the Splendid Sampler with the sticky Fabrisolvi with the stick and stitch where we just sewed down a whole pile of the scraps? Ooh, I think I'm gonna do that because that speaks to my use up all the things uh, <laughs> mode that I've been in. Oh, I like that. So, oh gosh, we gotta do the back of this quilt yet too before we can start quilting. So I think um, any extra chevrons that we have, we'll throw in the back and maybe I'll make, I'll make one of those fabric scrap blocks. We'll, we'll do that again. That's a great idea, Debbie. Um, we'll do that again with, with all these scraps. And then that can go in the back of the quilt too. Oh, I love that idea. All right, that's the plan. All right, there we go. So here is our stack. We will, it's looking pretty big, but we will sew all of these tomorrow. So this is all that's left. That is it, it, it. And <laughs> let's scooch over here. Here's all the, the rest of the scraps. This is the scraps from the last couple nights. And here's my... Here's my big jar uh, of scrap, so I'll get those in there and I'll, I'll show you the jar uh, when we finish up tonight. But yeah, we'll have filled this entire jar with these scraps, which is crazy. But yeah, we'll make, we'll make some scrap fabric out of this, some fabric out of nothing out of this stuff, which will be really fun. And if you haven't seen me make that before, um, I think you'll really like it. It's a, it's a really fun way of using up scraps like this. Get these last little dog ears in here. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I love that idea. We're gonna do that for sure. So, all right, there is my, my scrappy bin. This is actually a very large jar, so I'll, I'll show you that. I'm gonna flip you guys around and we will call it this evening. Yay, we got through through the stack. Oh, you haven't seen that yet, Gretchen? Yeah, it's so fun. So we're gonna make, here's my jar, look how big it is. Uh, we are gonna make fabric out of out of this. And I can actually probably make quite a bit out of, out of this. It's gonna be fun. I'm super stoked now. So tomorrow we will sew together our half square triangles into the chevrons, the half chevrons. Uh, we'll finish that up on Friday and then Monday, we will lay out the whole quilt, we'll start sewing it, and then when, when we're done with the top and we, we, we start focusing on the back of the quilt, before we do that, we will make fabric out of all these scraps. So we'll, at the point when we just about forgot that these exist, we will bring them to life again. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna even write a note on here uh, so I can for sure remember that we're gonna do that. That'll be really fun. And you can do a whole lot with with that fabric that you make out of nothing, which is exciting. So, all right, that is the plan uh, for the next few days. And uh, that's it for this evening. Thanks for joining me again, everyone. And I will be back here tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. And again, if you're new, I'm Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, and I'm here every weeknight uh, for an hour every evening where we can just relax and chit chat and, and work through a project. Uh, and I, I do all the projects from beginning to end. So if you have a project you'd like to do at some point, let me know and we'll get it on the docket here. 
So, all right, uh, this will go up on YouTube at Penguin and Fish Movies, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great evening and have a great day. Have a great Thursday tomorrow. See you later. Good night.